Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing for you a hair care product. Now this is the Akin Miracle Shine Conditioning Hair Mask. There we go. So that's what it looks like after it's been used. Okay, so this product is an Australian made and uh, owned product. So you might have to go online to get this product if you're outside Australia. Um, you might have a little bit of trouble picking it up, um, just be forewarned. Um, they may have distributors around the world, around the world, sorry. I really don't know. But um, yeah, just full, be fully warned that if you're outside Australia, you might have a little bit of trouble getting this product. So there is a very, very long list of ingredients for this product. I'm just going to go over the main sort of ingredients and skip over some. Um, that aren't so important. So we've got water, you've got some alcohol just to preserve it and things like that. Jojoba seed oil, um, you've got hydrolyzed wheat protein, glycerin, um, rice amino acids, uh, you've got some glycerin, uh, some avocado oil, some vitamin C, um, you've got some citric acid, some geranium flour, uh, sandalwood oil, uh, you've got some palm, palm glycerides, okay, Car uh, cardamom seed oil, ginkgo leaf extract, you've got clove bud oil, patchouli leaf oil, squalene, um, and then towards the end you've just got some uh, various preservatives and things like that. If you are concerned about um, ingredients, I highly, highly recommend that you double check the ingredients list. There are quite a few different preservatives and things like that on this list. Um, so yeah, just double check. Um, and make sure that this is appropriate for your hair. But I can confirm that this is 100% vegan and it is halal certified. Uh, it's not tested on animals, which is good for you cruelty-free folks out there. Um, and there's no sulfate, paraben, silicons, gluten, um, mineral oil, artificial colors, synthetic fragrances, animal derivatives. So there is a lot of things that it doesn't have in there, which is a good thing. So yeah, just double check if you want to... Uh, Try this out. So this hair mask, considering the length of my hair, now it is kind of hard to see because I've got it up in a bun uh, today and I really liked the bun and I didn't want to take it out. Um, it, I used the whole mask at once and it was just probably the right amount for me. Um, if you were using it more as like a really intense conditioning treatment like I was. So I used it up um, all at once and yeah, 55 grams, which is quite a lot of product, but yeah, you know, go hard or go home on this channel, I say. So I have quite thick, long, wavy hair, just to let you guys know. It goes down pretty much the full length of my back, um, down to my butt. So, yeah, I have really, really long hair, so I do kind of need that extra moisture. I think if you had sort of mid-length hair, you could get away with using this in two uses. If you had short hair, you could probably use this in maybe three or four uses. So it can be quite economical depending on... Um, your uh, hair type and hair length. So it does retail for $5 normally, but depending on where you buy it and the pharmacy and all that sort of thing, you can get this on sale sometimes. So just keep an eye out for the sales. I got it at 10% off, which isn't a huge sale, but you know, better than nothing. So in terms of the scent of this product, you really do have to like that sort of natural herbal earthy kind of smell. Um, it, it's not unpleasant for those of you who probably don't love that sort of smell, but just be fully warned. I mean, that patchouli oil is definitely there, okay? Um, and it does have a, a definite earthy herbalness to it. Um, so, yeah, if you're into your natural hair care in general, you, you'll like it. You, you probably like the smell. Uh, in terms of how it worked, okay, so like I said, I used it for the full length. I used it for 30 minutes. Um, it... it recommends a variety of different ways of using it. You can use it um, after shampooing, you can use it beforehand, you can use it um, on dry hair or wet hair, you can use it in all sorts of ways. I decided to use it after shampooing. I waited, um, I used it in the bath. So um, I was able to lean my head forward, let all that water drain off from the shampoo um, and then use it uh, that way. So yeah, I just left it for the full length of time. I thought it did a fantastic job. I felt like my hair was definitely a lot smoother than what it normally would be. I found that it was a lot easier to detangle my hair. 
um, and brush it afterwards. Um, and once again, I did not use any type of conditioner afterwards. It does say that you can, but when you're doing a leave-in treatment or a mask like this, there really is no need to use conditioner as well. So don't really worry about it, in my opinion. The only time you would need to use the conditioner is maybe on your ends. Um, even if you're using this as a leave-in treatment beforehand, then you shampoo just do conditioner on the ends. Don't go too nuts with it all over your hair because it will go greasy very, very quickly um, if you do it that way. Personal experience from using a lot of masks and leave-in treatments and stuff like that. So yeah, I love this product. I would prefer if it was more sort of around the two, three dollar mark, I would prefer that um, in terms of cost. So it's probably, for me personally, it's not the most cost-effective mask. But like I said, if you've got shorter hair, it would be a great cost-effective mask for you. Uh, but yeah, I, I see no reason to take any points off. It is a five out of five product. Uh, it did the job. It did what it said it would. Um, I felt like my hair was a little bit stronger afterwards as well. So that's always a good sign. So yeah, I, I think it would be a great one. Also, if, if you've got color treated hair or color damaged hair, I think it would be a really nice uh, treatment for you as well. Um, there's nothing in here that states that it would would be terrible for, um, yeah, for color hair, colored hair. I don't see any um, ingredients or anything indicating that it wouldn't be ideal for that. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do a lot of reviews on this channel. If you are new, I do recommend you stick around and subscribe. I, I do a lot of Lush stuff mainly, but... I occasionally do other reviews and bits and pieces. So yeah, if that sounds like your thing, definitely consider sticking around. And until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.